Welcome back to the channel, another daily video where I'm going to be giving you 10 tips for small YouTubers. I feel like in my time I've done YouTube uh, enough to the extent where I can give some tips. Although I'm not like the biggest creator, I'm not the most talented. Like I have learned stuff in my time from doing this for so many years. So I started my channel in 2010, but obviously I wasn't really posting videos then. I've been doing it for a long time, but doing it, I've, been, I've been only doing this properly for a year now where I've seen like that growth on my channel. So you are a small creator, you're wondering, how do I get more subscribers? How do I get views? How do I get famous? How do I get money? You that's the main questions that everyone always asks. I'm doing this video as it's a highly requested video by you people. It's a thing that you always ask me. If you are not already subscribed, do hit that subscribe button, please. It does help the channel a lot. Subscribe to my second channel as well in Zingy Vlogs. Link in the description. Like this video if you are enjoying it. Hit the notification bell so you never miss another video. But now, number one is content. Like, believe it or not, but that's where you got to start. Like, it is quite cliche and obvious, but that's what it is. Before you even decide to film a video, pick up the camera, you need to be writing down ideas for me I used to write all my ideas down on my phone in your notes is a great place or what I've been doing recently is actually writing them down on paper so uh, it's an actual scientific thing where it's something to do with the calligraphy of it like when you write something down you're more likely to achieve that goal and actually film that video because you can highlight it off you can cross it off and say I've done this video now what's next now what's next and don't just think of some some ideas they might just come randomly during the day so you have to write it down or they might just come by you brainstorming thinking what's the latest trends what are other people doing just think use your brain and keep thinking of different ideas the next thing before that is actually plan the video there's a lot of times where I didn't used to plan videos and it's just gone awful. I turn on the camera, I'm like, what am I gonna say? What, how do I do this? How do I do this scene? Or whatever video you're making. Always plan your videos. That's the number one thing that people don't do. Plan your videos and everyone goes smoothly on the day. And execution, on the day, you gotta be feeling yourself. You gotta be motivated. You've literally got to smash the video. Whatever you're doing, put 100% of your energy, your time, your effort into that video. Number two, DOS, is editing. Believe it or not, that is a big part of it. Like how your video is edited, how it's presented. I would say for people starting off, edit yourself, like use even like cheap software or even some free software like iMovie or any other ones on the internet. I'll leave some links in the description of some editing software that you guys can use for free. I would say yeah, learn to edit yourself. I've done that, this whole of this editing thing. I'm still editing most of my videos now. I'm not to the point where I can pay someone. If you, if you do have the money to pay someone, by all means, yeah, you could, but I don't really trust it because like, the editor, as much as you can tell them what to do, they don't have your humour and know exactly the angle you want to portray the video. Coming in at number three is promoting. You've got to promote the video. As soon as you shot the video and it's finished, edited, everything's done, you've got to promote it like a bitch, all right? Honestly, it's a serious thing. You've got to promote it. You've got Your social media has to be up to date. If you don't have an Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, uh, potentially LinkedIn in for business inquiries then you're not doing it right I'm sorry to say and that's not a bad thing because there's a lot of mistakes that even I made like when starting off you need to have these social media platforms you need to be posting regularly that's the big thing you don't just have them on there for display you post regularly on there so people know you're active then you can promote your videos you can just put random tweets about things that happen in the world you get more traction more followers in there and you can bring them followers onto a YouTube channel and vice versa. Obviously for businesses or any creators that want to go like big in terms of the digital marketing world, you can do stuff like SEO, search engine optimization, or PPC, pay-per-click campaigns, and obviously YouTube advertising, Google AdWords is a big way to do that. It does cost money though, but you most of the time you are gonna get something back out of that. Number four, my probably one of my favorite ones, yeah, because it's like, it's a lot of YouTubers guilty pleasure are to do this, I feel like, trends. Hop on trends, I'm telling you this now, as much as you might may think, oh, you're copying, uh, this is not creative, trust me, this is what's going to get you them views, which is going to essentially gain new subscribers. And yes, put your own little tilt in it, so don't just copy exactly what so-and-so are doing, like their humour, have your own personality on it, but do the trends, because the trends is what's going to be ranked in the Google search, on YouTube, trending page even. You could potentially be on the trending page if your video pops off. Whether that's thousand degree knife challenge, God, remember that, fidget spinners. Or well, anything involving money like Mr. Beast does. Mr. Beast is a prime example of one of those amazingly talented YouTubers, but he knows what he's doing in his mind. He knows what he, he knows he's, Mr. Beast is very clever. He knows what he's doing. The uh, last of these circle gets like $100,000. Things like that, hop on the trends and put them in your thumbnail and title. Moving on from that, number five is your thumbnail and title, ladies and gentlemen. That this is so important, and as much as you think it's, oh, it's just everyone says it's thumbnail and title, yes, it's because it literally is a 
That's so, so important. I can't stress that enough to you. First of all, your thumbnail. Nobody's gonna click on your video if it's just a boring screenshot or just a blurry like picture. You need, uh, you need a clickable thumbnail. Clickbait is good, but to an extent where it's not too misleading, because otherwise your audience retention and watch time will go down a lot, which means YouTube won't recommend you. But YouTube will recommend you though, if you have a thumbnail and title that's interesting, it's got colors in it, it's got things happening, don't overcomplicate it though, make it quite simple for people to clearly see what the video is about. The title as well, use them keywords, whatever it is, whether it's YouTube, whether you're using another person's name for fame like I've done, KSI, Logan Paul, whatever you want to do, PewDiePie, or just things that people People are going to search on realistic like how to do this you, you understand what I'm saying not coming at number six is something that I've been doing more trying to be doing more often now is series create a series on your channel don't do too many like I've done because you're not gonna stick to them uh, series is very good for series is very good for people to binge watch your content now, if you have loads of different content people are not gonna watch you all of them because they might like one video but they might not want to watch the other have a series where it's consistent content throughout whether that's a gaming series or that's a series in public whether that's a series with your friends a podcast and so on so you keep having episodes of that and people are going to keep watching it and that audience will build with that number seven viral content i know everyone watching this video including me always wants to make viral content videos that are going to pop off get a million views a hundred thousand views whatever you want to be on trending pages and so on to do this it requires a lot of planning and thinking look at what other people are doing put your own spin on it don't make a video too long a lot of most viral videos are not videos that are too long or sometimes high production is important thing in that because like a high production thing will cause a better quality and the audience will love that you got to think of something a new wave or whether you're copying someone else you got to think of something new that everyone's gonna go wow like, this is the new thing i'm gonna share this i'm gonna like this i'm gonna subscribe number eight something that i accomplished but i can stand up and say consistency for people that are saying they don't have time to upload once a week or once a month then leave this video I'm sorry, not to be rude, leave this video. I've been uploading every single day since the 1st of January 2019, every single day this year, and I'm gonna upload the whole of this year even. Have that mindset you're gonna do that and stick to it. Obviously I understand people in different situations and I know for a fact, do not get this wrong, don't do what I'm doing and upload every single day because I'm doing it for my own personal reasons, you, you need to do it for a different reason. Upload once or twice a week, that's still very consistent and that's reasonable. Make sure your timing is good though, like you manage your life slash YouTube balance and make sense. Like don't overwork like I'm doing unless you really want it. If you really really want it you do whatever you can. That's what how I think. Number nine collaborations. This is something that myself including needs to do. I need to be doing more of these. I've only ever done collaborations with my friends but whether that's with your friends or whether that's other YouTubers contact them on Twitter on social media put videos out asking if any other YouTubers want to collab. Like if there's any YouTubers watching this that wants to collab with me comment down below now and I will get in touch with all of you. Collaborations is like one of the best ways to grow your channel because it's like both parties benefit like they gain subscribers you're gaining subscribers because you both make a vid two videos one on their channel one on your channel you both put the links in the description you're both going to gain even if there's someone that has less subscribers than you don't just feel like oh he's got lots of subscribers so i'm going to leech onto him although that is a good thing whether they're less than you or more they're all the same all in the same boat of this small youtuber community and we're going to grow and also another thing is with collaborations you never know what could happen you can start a new group a new wave a new whatever number 10 the youtube algorithm that word god damn it everyone keeps saying YouTube algorithm this, YouTube algorithm that. like it's not as serious as people have make it out to be i was at vidcon this year and they taught me a lot about the youtube algorithm and it's not something like this big scary word that everyone needs to be afraid of it's literally just a normal algorithm a normal pattern a normal trend on youtube that you have to sort of play in order for you to grow your channel and that includes obviously your keywords your thumbnail and title everything i've included in this video that's all part of the youtube algorithm what type of titles you have if you look at mr beast title and thumbnails now on the screen you can see the reason why he blows up videos that are going to be intriguing to people videos that are going to go oh i actually want to click on this last but not least i want to say to everyone watching this video do not focus on your subscribers, your subscriber count. I am so guilty of this, like probably all my YouTube career until recently. Everyone always has their social blades up thinking, oh, when am I gonna get another subscriber? And you're literally almost begging for just one more subscriber every day or a few more. Honestly, let's say this. If you have 500, 500 subscribers, yeah, you're only really limited to 500 
people maximum to watch your videos. So that's 500 views. But think about this: if you aim for, if you aimed for your content to get more views instead, so if your content got 10,000 views, out of them 10,000, 5,000 subs could subscribe to your channel. You are more likely to gain subscribers by getting views first. Like, obviously, don't get me wrong. If you're aiming to get loads of subscribers and you're relying on your subscribers to recommend your videos on YouTube, that still does work, but only a tiny, tiny bit. If you want to get some subscribers to shoot up, focus on your video content and your views. That's been it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. That's been it for 10 small YouTuber tips from your boy in Zingy. If you have not subscribed already, please hit that big red subscribe button. Hit that like button if you did enjoy this video, if it was helpful. Leave a comment down below if you thought this was helpful. Give some feedback to me what I can do to make this video better for you to watch. Also hit that bell so you get notified every single day when I upload this video because I'm uploading every single day. More content on the way and I'll see you guys in a bit. Run, 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 run.